Hi, welcome to another episode of Coffee with Cliff. Today we're going to talk about single unit and multi-unit controllers for the PLC product line. Let's get started. So in previous videos, we've covered the Fusion Tech, Mega Tech, and Multi Tech products in detail as far as software updates and wiring. Now we're going to talk about the controllers that are available for those products. Here we have the LC6000. It's the big guy of the group. It can do three zones, it can do multiple alarms, and has a lot of user functionality. Down here we have the TH Tune. The TH Tune can operate a single multi tech unit with available alarms through the unit controller. We also have the PGDX, which can operate a single mega tech unit. It has multiple alarms through the control in the unit and also has a color touch screen. Here we have the PGD. The PGD can operate either a Fusion Tech, a Mega Tech, or a Multi Tech product and operate a single unit with temperature control. Now we're going to look at the PGDX in great detail. You'll notice there's four screws on the lid. We can use our Phillips screwdriver, take out all four screws. Now we can open it up. And the first thing you're going to notice is there'll be two plugs, an orange plug that shows uh, where the wires are connected for the power, and then you're going to see a green plug, and that's where your communication wire is going to hook up. In order to remove the lid completely, you'll unplug these two plugs, and then this will all come apart here, like this. So there we can see the inside and the back of the screen. Now when we're looking inside the controller, we can see that there's also a power board in there with power going to it. So this will be part of the PGDX kit. And then you'll see the wires coming out for power. And then this will connect to the unit along with the communication wire. Here's what the end of the wire is going to look like that you're going to use to connect the PGDX to the Megatech. You're going to see a two power wires and two communication wires, a ground, and this is going to be shielded cable. This is the PGD single unit display. It comes as a kit with the enclosure and four Phillips head screws, so you can take the cover off. And what this uses to connect with the unit is a standard phone jack connection. So we'll take the lid off of the box. You can see your phone jack in there. You're gonna plug this in. And then you're also going to add an opening for this in the box, wherever it needs to be, so you can run conduit to the unit. And then when you connect to the unit, you're going to plug into the PLC board at the phone connection jack. This is a TH tune that's used to operate a single multi-tech unit. Here's the display, and you have a control knob here and several different buttons for the interface. The interface comes off along with this part and you can flip it over and you can see where you connect the communication and the power lines that go to the device. You'll use four wire connections similar to the PGDX. Now we're going to take a closer look at the PLC boards. We have medium footprint boards and we have small footprint boards. You can see on the boards that some of them have Ethernet ports and others don't. Here we have the PLC board in the LC6000, and we also have two unit boards. These would all be connected together using a daisy chain of two wire with a shield and a drain. On each end of the daisy chain, we're going to also use an EMI filter that clips on, so you'll form a loop in the wire and clip on the EMI filter on each end of the daisy chain. It's important that when you connect these wires, the drain is only connected on one end. We can also look at the Ethernet port and how it's connected up to the Ethernet. And we can also see here that this is where you would plug your tech eye in. Another feature on all of these boards is you'll see a micro USB port at the bottom of each one. And that's where you do your software programming at the end of the dongle that will be attached in the unit or the LC6000 controller. All right, so that's it for today's episode of Coffee with Cliff. 
We covered a lot today. We covered the controllers, including the PGD, the PGDX, the TH2, and we started an intro to the LC6000 that we're gonna talk about later. If you'd like more information about these controllers, please feel free to contact your local BARD rep or go to www.bardhvac.com. Thank you.